Praise the Lord. The heart of a believer cries with this prayer at all times. Father, let thy will be done. Let thy will be done. Saints of God have always struggled not knowing what the will of God is. That is why they have cried out, they have longed for God's presence in their lives. Mighty brother and sister, thy will be done. The psalmist cries in the Psalm 143 verse number 8, cause me to know the way in which I should walk. For I lift up my soul to you. For I lift up my soul to you. This is the cry of a saint. And again he says in the 10th verse, Teach me to do your will. For you are my God, your spirit is good. Lead me in the land of uprightness. Lead me in the land of uprightness. My dear brother and sister, our Lord Jesus Christ, when he was in the garden of Gethsemane, when he was seeking the Father for the sake of you and me, when he was uh, at the Master, when he was seeking his Father's presence in the garden of Gethsemane, there is a struggle. The struggle is not to know what the will of God is. He knows what the will of God is. The son knows what the father is wanting him to do. The son knows the very reason for which he has come into this world. But that which is most important is when he is going to go through that suffering, that separation, that death, having taken up the sin of the whole world, that separation is that which was always a big torture. The Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross on that great Friday. But I tell you, the Lord Jesus Christ went through the pain of suffering and the death upon the cross and the separation from the Father. He went through the whole process because he knew what he was going through. The sacrifice is already decided in the Garden of Gethsemane. In the Garden of Gethsemane, we find a Lord Jesus Christ talking to the Father. Luke 22, verse number 41. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and prayed. And he knelt down and prayed, verse number 42, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. This word talks the submission, the sacrifice, the wholesome offering which the Master has done for your sake and for our, my sake. My dear brother and sister, waiting in the presence of God, you are longing for something to take place in your life. You are waiting for God to perform a miracle in your life. And what you need to know is what the will of the Father is. Without knowing the will of the Father, your life is going to be absolute emptiness. But once you know the will of the Father, allowing the will of the Father God to prevail in your life, that is what which brings the change in our lives. That is what which brings the change and makes the world to see the better thing. Something which is amazing. Today, are you in a struggle?
The struggle is always there between the personal will and the will of the Father God. It is at the Garden of Gethsemane. Time and again when we decide, yes, let the will of the Father prevail in my life. Let the Father's will prevail in my life. When the Lord Jesus Christ, he bowed down, he said, Father, let thy will be done, not mine, but let thine be done. In this uh, journey, coming closer to Christ, what needs to be done is to be able to uplift ourselves into fulfilling the will of the Father to such an extent that we will be able to see God performing wonderful works in our lives in an amazing fashion. That prayer, it changed. That com commission, that submission, it changed the history of humankind. My dear brother and sister, the Garden of Gethsemane is the place where human will is present to God in all sincerity. But God's will being allowed to be fulfilled. That is the most important thing. And today, I want you to submit yourself. Today could be your garden of Gethsemane. When you're going to submit yourself to the will of the Father and say in the name of Jesus, my Savior, I submit my will into your hands. Because when we submit ourselves into the will of the Father, that is when our life changes to the better. Let us bow down our heads and pray. Father God, we thank you for thine will and purpose in our lives. Help us to know you better, my dear Father. We do not want to be in our own struggle. We do not want to be in our own will. We do not want to be languishing within the periphery of our will. We want to break free, my dear God, and come closer to you so that thine purpose would be fulfilled in our lives. Because that is the best, that is the greatest, that is the right thing to be done. Only then there is peace, there is joy, and there is a meaning for our existence. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus of Nazareth, we pray thee and give you all glory, Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. My dear brother and sister, remember, the Lord always is ready. The Lord is always ready to perform His will. It is we who have to submit ourselves into the hands of the Father and say, Father, here I am. Here I am. Wholly available. In Jesus' name, amen. Sister Jessie, my sister and I, we bring you the message from the heart of the Lord. May the Lord bless you, establish you, and strengthen you, and make you to be an honor for him for a thousand generations. Amen. Praise the Lord.